Hey everyone, Ray Sawville, RaySawville.com. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing performance max campaigns, what they are, how to set them up, and how to optimize them. If that's what you're looking for, stick around. Performance max campaigns are Google's all-in-one campaign type that allows you access to all of Google's ad inventory in one single campaign. It leverages smart bidding, all of their placements, all of their audience signals, and it's a rolled up black box type of campaign is what I'm calling it, but I'm seeing some pretty good success so far in setting up these campaigns. The positive news is you're able to build them relatively quickly and supplement strategy throughout all of your campaign types. Let me dive into Google Ads and I can show you how to set them up. Now here we are in the Google Ads interface. In order to create a Performance Max campaign, all you have to do is click on New Campaign. It doesn't matter which objective you choose, so I'm just going to choose Without Guidance. And then you should be seeing Performance Max here, which is new. The reason why this is important is because Performance Max campaigns are going to be taking over shopping and local campaigns in about June or so, or about four months from this video. So shopping campaigns and local campaigns are going to be combined into Performance Max campaigns. And long term, I could honestly see Google moving towards this model where they just give you less insight into what you're running and they just combine everything all into one campaign. For us advertisers, this is a scary notion because it's giving you less control. However, it allows you to back up, think more strategically, and there's pros and cons to both methods. Check out my video up in the upper right hand corner if you'd like to see more about audience funnels and how this can be impacting things down the line, but definitely a lot more to come in the future. Select Performance Max, and then once you select Performance Max, you need to ensure that you are optimizing for a conversion. If you do not have a conversion action set up in your account, you will not be able to run a Performance Max campaign. So my recommendation would be if you're lead gen, obviously use some type of form fill, some type of signal on your website or a soft conversion. If you're e-commerce, import your transactions. You can optimize towards multiple conversions, which I'll create a video down the line for, but you can just select which conversion types you would like to optimize for. So you can select all of the different conversion goals within your account and optimize accordingly. Once you select your conversion goal, click on continue and move towards budget. So for budget, I'm just going to throw in $1 a day. And from a bidding standpoint, you can choose to bid for the most amount of conversions or you can choose to bid for the most amount of value. My recommendation would be if you're an e-commerce business and if you really want to be conservative to start, go for conversion value because this gives you a huge option of inventory. So do conversion value. If you're lead gen, I would recommend to go conversions unless you have a really solid idea what every single conversion in the funnel is worth to you. For example, here's how much a lead is to me. Here's how much a email is worth to me. Here's how much a phone call. So if you have all those different signals, you might be able to do conversion value for lead gen, but out of the box, I would recommend to do conversions for lead gen and then conversion value for e-commerce. And then finally, you can set a TCPA if you would like, which I would also recommend doing so these campaigns don't get too crazy out of the bat. For a target CPA or T ROAS, if you go the conversion value route, this will tell you T ROAS. I would recommend to do 30 to 50% higher than what you typically see, so these campaigns are conservative out of the box. Now let's talk campaign priority real quick. Performance max campaigns will take priority over every single campaign type. So think about smart shopping, think about your standard campaigns. Performance max is gonna be up here and until that campaign runs out of budget, this campaign is going to be prioritized out of all of your other campaigns. So it goes performance max, smart shopping, everything else. So if you have a $50 budget for your performance max campaign, it's not going to start serving in all of your other campaign types until the $50 in your performance max campaign has been spent. So really keep that in mind if you're throwing big budgets or if you're wondering why your overall session or click count from paid search has went down. Once you set up your budget and bidding, you can click next, go to the next screen. And then we can choose our targeting. I'm just going to keep it default by start here. And then the way that performance max campaigns work is you create asset groups. So think responsive search ads, think responsive display ads. You're giving Google a wide array of assets. They're going to go out and serve on then YouTube, Gmail, search, display, and discovery. And what's going to happen if you don't give it the asset, it's going to try to create it with what it finds. So if you don't give it a display signal, it's going to go to your website and just pull stuff off of your site and make you a display ad. If you don't have YouTube video, it's going to go to your YouTube video or something like that, pull that from that channel and create video content. So you really want to make sure that you are the one that are steering the ship here and you are the one that is giving Google the information that it needs. Otherwise, things may not be set up according to plan. I'm going to go through and fill this out quick and review this with you in a few seconds once I have this filled out. 
Alrighty, so I went through this builder here very quickly and filled out all of the information. So at the top, you're just going to put in your URL. You are then going to select images. I just grabbed random images from my website. These wouldn't be great for ads, but just use the collateral that you have available. You can then select your logo. I picked a random YouTube video from my website or from my YouTube channel, and then just threw in a bunch of different headlines, long headlines, descriptions, and then my business name. And I want to show you some examples of how these ads could actually preview and what they may look like. So on YouTube, I might get like an asset like this, grow your business online, learn more. Gmail, it takes my images and showcases it here. Um, you can then get a search option where it just shows like a normal like RSA type of ad. Here's a display type of ad. And then if you're on an Android phone, the discovery option as well. So um, there's many options that you can kind of go with when creating this performance max campaign. So you're just really throwing all of the assets against the wall. And then back on the previous screen for budget, you are just telling Google to find you all of the inventory available for the goal that you set up. So that's kind of the change in logic and thinking that we have to apply here. Google's gonna go out to all of its available inventory and try to get me the most amount of conversions for the cost per action or the cost per um, like ROAS that, that you have set up. So really keep that in mind when setting up and optimizing this, these campaigns. Performance max campaigns will learn over time what audiences work best with your campaign. However, if you create a signal type out of the gate, it's going to kind of jumpstart that campaign and help it learn just like a little bit faster. So if you click on create an audience signal, you'll be able to go to the exact campaign type here, give it a signal, and it'll just go out and learn. So let's say I want to try to hit people that are entrepreneurs or own a business. So I'm, I'm going to try that. So entrepreneurs and business owners. So I'm going to create a custom segment. So now I can either create a custom segment or I can browse for it. So like if I type in like entrepreneurs, there's nothing there. What about if I do business? How to become a YouTuber. So these are some of my like other audiences that I already have created. So I'm going to create a new custom segment and call this like entrepreneurs. And then as you can see, this is pretty much a custom intent campaign that I can go and set up. So now I can come in here and type in like, um, you know, entrepreneur search term ideas. It's going to go out there and like give me ideas here. So like I can click on like some of these ideas, build an audience. And then this is giving my performance max campaign signals on how to learn a little bit faster and how to build faster. So think of it like you're just jumpstarting the campaign type and you're just letting it learn. So it can go out and get you those juicy conversions just a little bit faster. And finally, once you have those audience signals confirmed, you can click on next. It's going to grab all of the extensions from your current campaign because this is a dummy mock account. I'm not going to have any ad extensions in here. So I'm just going to skip this portion, but you can grab all of the site links from your previous campaigns or make new ones. Um, and then finally, you can just click launch. I don't have a logo right now, but then you can click launch. And that's about it. Performance max campaigns are going to become the standard on Google Ads. Google's just kind of moving their model that way where it's more black box versus like segmenting and siloing all of your campaign types. Whether you like it or not, that's likely the way that they're going to be moving in the future. Now I can tell you that my team has tested maybe about like 10 to 15 campaigns at this point in time and we're seeing varying levels of success. What two concepts and two strategic pieces that I would tell you to keep in mind is the priority piece that I mentioned earlier where performance max trumps everything on the list here and it's not going to give priority to your other campaign types until this campaign runs out of budget. So keep that in mind. And then two, um, really go broad with this and conservative with your bidding because I am seeing this work more places than not, but you just really have to keep in mind on that session count and that click count from a priority standpoint. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. Only about 5% of the people who watch my videos right now are subscribed, which I'm so grateful for. We're coming in at about 2K subscribers, so huge shout out to all you guys. I appreciate you so much. If you do subscribe, it'll continue to recommend this type of content to awesome folks just like you, so I appreciate you guys so much. And until next time, see you guys later. Bye.